I worked at a store that was very close to my house, so I walked home every day. The map of this story is, there's my job, my friend's job, a traffic light, a small park, another traffic light, three abandoned stores, and finally a gas station. The only busy part of this route is the gas station. One day I was leaving work and it was starting to get dark. When I left, there was an employee fixing the electrical box of the store that my friend works. I glanced at him, not thinking anything of it, and waved to my friend. She smiled through the glass door and I continued on my way. It was just another normal day. When I was exactly in the middle of the park, I glanced around quickly over my shoulder, because I'm an anxious woman, and saw the electrician who I just saw walking behind me. Everything I'm going to tell you now happened very quickly. When I looked back again, his eyes were fixed on me, and he had no expression on his face. All the alarm bells were going off in my head, so I started walking at a faster pace. More out of paranoia than real fear. So I looked again, and this time more slowly, and I noticed that his steps increased in speed, just like mine. His expression had also changed to anger and impatience, like a hunter frustrated because the little rabbit ran too fast. I think deep down, our survival instincts know when someone wants to do something bad to us just by looking at them. I hadn't started running yet, but the park, which was actually small, suddenly got much bigger. I don't know if when I looked back a third time, my fearful expression gave me away, but instead of walking, he began to almost run and walk at the same time, his strides becoming so long that it was awkward to look at. And so I ran. I had seen this a thousand times on the news. The park was empty. It was just me and him. I knew what he wanted to do. I had my phone in my hand, but the adrenaline was telling me to keep running and running. I ran the light and crossed the street, still not daring to look back. Maybe he was right behind me. What would I do? I thought after arriving at the abandoned stores, he would have given up. So I looked back one last time and there he was still not running, just walking super fast in a weird way. The adrenaline made me run even faster. And when I looked again after a while, he had suddenly stopped. The guy just stood there, his angry expression also fading away. His face looked blank. It was like he was staring into nothing. But his eyes, his eyes were still fixed on me. At this point, I was already approaching the gas station and he was just a small silhouette that didn't move. My heart was still racing and my hand was shaking so badly I could barely type the password to my cell phone. I kept walking and looking back every second he didn't move an inch I started to get paranoid thinking that maybe he really was an employee that maybe I was imagining things that he wasn't really following me it's like our brain starts to justify the situation so that you stop suffering when I was already at the end of the gas station and the adrenaline was slowly decreasing my boss called me and asked if I had arrived home yet. I said no. 
he said that my friend next door was worried about me because there there was a crazy man pretending he had tools in his hand and pretending he was fixing the power box. She was too scared to tell him to stop and just watched his weird mimicking for a while. But when I passed by, he turned and followed me as if he was literally waiting for me. My friend was so scared that she tried to record the man in case something happened and was ready to call the police. After that episode, I changed route I, every day that I walked in even started to use a bike. Guys, don't forget to always stay alert of your surroundings. I don't know what would have happened if I hadn't realized quickly enough that he was following me. He would have reached me in seconds.